television. So this is a deluxe. A little bit, uh, a bit pricey this time. Got a bathroom. Just a little bathroom with a shower, a cubicle. Shaving points over there. Got the extractor. Basic kitchen. Microwave, toaster, kettle, fridge, freezer there. I'm guessing you've got all the utensils in here. Wash basin, kind of stuff. I will go nice and full. Bins, pan, bowls, everything that you could want. There we go. Plates and everything. It's in this one. Oh, there is an iron as well. Mop. Um, what we've got here? The master bedroom. It's got central heating, so you can boost the heat while you're in the room. Radiators there, mirror, wardrobe, drawers, the usual thing you'd get in a bedroom. How's the bed? Let's have a little test. Oh, it's uh, it's soft, but it's not the most bouncy. Little passageway, little window there, and then you've got the bedroom at the top. So it's just a two bedroom one, this. You've got the two bed, single beds there. Wardrobe, it's quite a big room this, with it only being a two bedroom. So I don't know if you can see the size there. Saturday. Good morning. It's time for a shower for to get ready for the day. Lock that up. Um, so we're gonna have a little blast of the shower cubicle. See what it's like. Well, that was hot. I don't know if you, uh, if this happens to you, but those showers, when it's not your own and it's not clear on the dial, which way the temperatures turn, like just burn yourself, end up burning my head in there. Right, we'll just get everything and open here. <laughs> um, the curtains over here. I'll not open the main ones yet. Keep that. The place looking a bit of a mess. Never mind. Right, here we go. Cooking with Corgan. And you got the breakfast this morning. Got this breakfast pack from the cloth that's on site. I mean, there we go. That's a bit better. Hair in position. So 
get these in the grill. Not so good. It's not good. The beef sausages. And then we've got the pork sausages. And there. I think that's where it's going. Yep. There we go. I'll probably wrap this up. After we're done, we'll eat all this for them. We'll wrap it up in the transfer for later. Right, I've got a bit of that margarine or whatever it is in the pan. Get the extractor on. Get some bacon on the go. Pan. Just had a bit of an emergency situation there. The uh, smoke alarm's been going off and I couldn't get it to turn off. Let's get some eggs on. It's not looking great, it's not looking good in this pan for the eggs, I've got to be honest. So there we go, it took some amount of effort, this egg kind of got it, it's ended up part scrambled, part fried. Uh, the other one's a bit better, it's still got remnants of black pudding on but that's fine, it's all getting eaten together. So we've got a couple bits of bacon, a couple of black pudding, the square sausage, pork sausage, beef sausage and egg. So that's it, cooking breakfast with Colgan in a caravan. Got some visitors outside, a few ducks from the pond. Oh, here's the babies, the baby geese coming up. I think they've ate everything. Oh, it's a whole army. Look at that. So there you go, a little bit of wildlife at Livingston Castle. So a few geese, a few ducks that live on the, well, the various lakes and ponds that are around here. I don't know if they usually eat honey loops, but there you go. That's what I had to hand. So hope you enjoyed it anyway. So it's Saturday night, um, we've been out, we've played bingo, nobody won. It's prize bingo, everything has to be booked. So you have to book your tables if you want to watch the entertainment, you have to book your tables if you want to go to the bingo, you have to book a table if you want to go to the Mash and Barrel, which is like the normal style pub, where you can have drinks and food. Um, yeah, you have to pretty much book everything through the app. I think some people have been disappointed they haven't been able to book things, but luckily we've been able to book something every day so you can book swimming as well um people have been up swimming today so yeah everything so far has been all right the only thing is there's a bit of a lack of atmosphere in the main sort of entertainment room because people seem to be booking a lot of tables or booking tables and then just not turning up so the room, it will be less capacity anyway because of the social distancing. But it just feels a bit lifeless, really. Um, there's no, no singing, no dancing allowed. So the entertainers and stuff are doing what they can. And you will have seen a clip a little bit earlier in this video of like the game show style things that they were doing yesterday. So I'm taking a break from the entertainment complex tonight. I did go to the bingo earlier, but I'm... The music and stuff that we're playing, it was just really hurting me ear. Yeah. So I haven't gone up tonight. I'm going to stay in. Well, I say I'm going to stay in. I'm watching a little bit of Michael Portillo on his British Rail. rail I'm watching a bit of Michael Portillo on his British Railway journeys. And I'm hoping to go out and get a little bit of drone footage across the golf course and 
potentially the Italian gardens as well. So the Italian gardens are on the map, so people know about them, but just nobody goes. And it's it's a shame actually, because they're really, really nice, like beautifully tended to, like the gardeners must put in a lot of work to get them looking the way they do. <laughs> Sunday morning, I'm up early. My son's got a bit of a bad leg, so I'm going to the shop to find some Calpol. See one of the lakes here, and the boats over there. It's also, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a heron standing over there. I don't want to disturb it, but it is over there. Look at that, let's see if I can get it. Just along the line of this wall, about there. So yeah, a little bit of wildlife. Um, we'll have a walk up this way. Actually, we'll not. We'll go up this way. So, it's a little bit of a tour, this one, I guess. So, on this side, we've got some rental bikes. They're the ones where you can get like four people on it and go. A bit like a go kart. I guess you would call some of them go karts as well. We've got a sports range here where they do archery shooting. Kids Park, trampolines, just up there where the glass is, that way, that way, is the outdoor area of the Mash and Barrel Bar. We've got a swim pool, we'll have a look, we'll go up, have a look in the swim pool while we're walking around. There is a slide in here, it's quite a big pool and with there being restricted numbers it's easy not easy to get in, but it's a little bit quieter than usual, which is good. But yeah, it's quite a nice pool. You see it stretches right back there as well. If we go this way, you can see everything's signposted, so it's easy to find your way around. There's maps on site, plenty of signage, because it is quite easy to lose your bearings when all you see is rows and rows of caravan. So this is kind of the main road that goes up to Pagestan Castle itself. Well, that's the tower that remains. There was a castle there, but that's a tower. In order to get into this port, you'll need an entertainment pass or fun pass, to call them. Just a card to say you've paid additional money or whatever to get in and use the facilities. It looks like the shop could be shut as well, actually. So all this behind here, you can kind of see the arcades in there, hopefully. Got a massive kids soft play. That's not in, not in use at the moment because of COVID. But usually kids can just run freely in there, climb around, climb around the climbing frames, that kind of thing. Then here, have got the creative studio. You can book activities there. So that could be painting cups or doing pottery or something like that. You got the fish and chip shop here. 
you've got this normal sort of mini market here, which is essentially like a, a local core. It stocks all the core food. The Haggerston Spa, which is just there. So you do have to pay for those things. I think it's a like a private business, but on, on site. And then you've got the main reception area. So usually when it's not, um, when we're not having all these COVID issues, you'd arrive between, depending on what your caravan is, two and I think it's five. And then you rock up here, collect your keys, and then be off to your caravan. With COVID, what's... Oh, hello, Siri. With COVID, what's happening is, you go into the, well, they'll meet you at the gate, they'll tell you what your caravan is, or you'll turn up here, and then they'll tell you where your caravan is, and you can just go straight to it. The keys are in most of the caravans, and then they're sealed shut once the cleaners have been in. So you just walk in, and then your keys are there. There's no like, there's usually no need to deal with anybody from reception or anything, unless there's an issue. I mean, look at the price of this. This is uh, 85,770 pounds. But look inside. I mean, that's like house quality that. I don't know if you can see that. pretty special inside yeah sometimes in the warmer weather in the sun kids will mess around around there I don't know if they're supposed to but they do anyway there's a giant deck chair here you can sit on get a photo opportunity get a photo opportunity it is a photo opportunity I guess you don't get a photo opportunity and then behind this area directly behind here is um, a little bit of a green area where they've put some seating so if you're at the mash and barrel you can sit there I guess you can have a little picnic or whatever as well within the entertainment complex itself there are a couple of food places so there's I'm just looking at the shop I heard a noise I thought well maybe it's opening the door there is a Papa John's and a Burger King unfortunately the Burger King has been closed for the past couple of days it opened last night they said they were having technical difficulties I don't know what that means. Probably the cooker was broke or something. The, the broiler that cooks the burgers. But you can get that. But through the app, you can order those, collect or have it delivered. And they deliver it in these little golf carts here. Where are we on the camera? There. They deliver it in those golf carts there around the park, which is good. Hope you've enjoyed that nice little tour around. There we go. That'll tell you what's in. The facilities and then if you need it there is a laundrette there and then further down are the sort of uh, tourer areas and then you can get in there I'll speak to you later right so I was gonna go to the Italian walled garden but there's a hut in front of it for the birds prey center so I'm presuming that you can't get in anymore unless you have a ticket or maybe to move the birds prey into that area I'm not really sure but as a result I don't really want to fly me drone around next to it if there's birds of prey and stuff there I could spook them so that's that idea out of the window so right now I'm having to wander back down to the caravan because I don't have a mask to get into the entertainment complex or anything
So this is it, Monday, the final day of the holiday. Yesterday was pretty good. I didn't record everything. I've been recording bits and pieces so you can see what's going on. Um, but I won at the bingo, won about 60 quid, 55, 60 quid, something like that. Um, and then later on, there was like a quiz show style thing, TV show style entertainment thing anyway, uh, where you had to guess a song and then select a number and there could be a prize behind the number anyway we won a bottle of cheap wine from that so that was good so pretty good day we went on a boat ride i've got a little bit of footage of that so that'll be on this video either before or after this somewhere and then today we've got to leave by 10 o'clock got to check out by 10 o'clock and then we're going to go down the road and hit a place called holy island it's kind of blocked well it is an island so it gets blocked off by the sea but there's a causeway that goes across which is a road so I think we can get across there from around 9.55 this morning until 4 o'clock. So we'll pay a visit there. Hopefully I'm going to get some nice drone footage of the Northumberland coast. And then we'll head home and that'll be it. Bank holiday weekend done.